close to heart. So, but just uh, all through. I'm uh, John Orderman, and it's uh, spelled J O H N Q U A R T E R M A N, like Orderman, except Orderman. Right, and um, I'm the president of Walls Watershed Coalition. That one's harder. W W A L S for Wilukuchi, Wilukuchi, Lapa, Little and Upper Swanee Rivers. I can spell those for you later. And uh, this pipeline proposes to cross our, I say ours, and it's in the Walls territory. It starts in Moultrie, Okapilco Creek, which runs into our Withacoochee River, which this pipeline also proposes to cross, and our Sewanee River. Uh, Walls members have been successful in getting the Safe Trail to move off of the Lithicoochee River in Florida, but all that did as far as the Somali River was moving upstream. And I thank John Pecone for going down to Florida and talking to the affected landowners and looking at some of the sinkholes. However, they're not just at the locations that he looked at. Of course, I don't know, maybe he went down to the Somali and looked as well. But let's go back to Georgia. In Georgia, now you saw this yesterday in Albany, but the audience has not. In Georgia, there's a plethora of sinkholes in Doherty County, Mitchell County, Brooks County, and Lowndes County. According to the, one of the documents that was produced, it's in this DIS, Appendix H, I believe. It lists a long series of sinkhole risks on the pipelines in those counties that I mentioned. Doherty, Mitchell, Brooks, and Lowndes. And just a few weeks ago in Lowndes County, a sinkhole opened up next to Shiloh Road that was big enough that it was you know, a concern whether it would eat the road or the nearby buildings. And it was very similar to a sinkhole that had opened up a couple of years ago on another road, Snake Nation Road. We got these great things in these parts. And that one did eat a road. It cost the county half a million dollars to replace it. And these are in a straight line with another old sinkhole called Shadrick Sink, which is the one that caused Bell Austin to have to sink its water wells twice as deep as it originally intended. So a pipeline drilling through this kind of area could cause another sinkhole, which could cause similar kinds of problems. It doesn't have to be the problems don't have to be near where the pipeline is. In Florida, the Swanee River Water Management District did a dye test where it put in dye on one side of the Swanee River in Swanee County. So the dye came up in Madison County, the other side of the river next to the Withacoochee River in the spring. And some of it came up in springs right near where this pipeline proposes to go. And I'll say one more thing, but I'll leave it to the next, which is the Florida Department of Environmental Protection recently did a study in which it looked at what's coming out of water wells throughout the state of Florida. And it finds salts and sulfates and other solids dissolved coming up far inland from the sea not just a few miles, but tens of miles, which indicates that things move a long way underground. So some of these PCBs, for example, that Alton was talking about, which Spectra's own SEC annual statement says may contaminate gas going through these pipelines, and some of those got into the aquifer through a break, a sinkhole. There's no telling what it might contaminate. The pipeline is a bad idea. I know you said you're DIS is not a decisional document. That, that means he's not ever going to recommend canceling it. But if you put enough of this stuff in there, perhaps the commissioners would actually come to this decision on their own. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Horton.